Hello, BookTube, and welcome back to People April. This is a BookTube event created by Roz at Scally Dandling About the Books and Elizabeth Bookends and Books to celebrate my favorite kind of book. They didn't do it for that reason, but nevertheless, this is life writing. This is People. It's autobiography, it's memoirs, it's letter collections, and it's also full dress biographies, which full dress biographies are my favorite kind of thing to read. I read a lot of them in a given year, and I've been reading more of them thanks to people. <laughs> uh, I've been adding a biography to the pile every night uh, for the night's reading. And a lot of these have involved rereads. Last night involved a reread that I wanted to see if my opinions of the book had changed, and I also wanted to gauge whether or not People April is in fact a cursed booktube event. I told myself, since all of my last few choices have been bad, I told myself that People April probably is cursed if we go all the way to Wednesday of this week and the choices aren't any good. Uh, so we have one thin day left <laughs> in order to turn this thing around. Uh, because last night's book was uh, Dean Atchison, Life in the Cold War by Robert Beisner. Or Beisner. This is about the legendary Secretary of State, Dean Atchison. And it needs to do two things. It needs to be interesting in its own right. And it needs to be valid on its own terms, separate from the genuinely great book written by its subject. Dean Abson wrote a book called President Creation. And not everybody who's ever biographied has written great books, especially about their own their own claim to fame. Dean Abson had other claims to fame, but Everything pales beside him being one of the greatest secretaries of state in American history. Uh, and he knew that. And he wrote a book about his tenure at the State Department. And it's great. It's genuinely great. Uh, so you've got those two things to do. You've got to get your... You've got to make your book interesting, first of all. And you've got to get your book out from under the shadow of the book that your subject wrote. No matter who that subject is. It could be... I'm looking over at my biography shelf. It could be it could be virtually anybody, uh, no matter who they are. If they wrote a standout book, like for instance, if you John, David McCullough writing about John Adams, no, because John Adams didn't write a standout book. You don't think about books when you think about John Adams. I, I guess you could say the same thing about John Quincy Adams. John Quincy Adams kept a diary of his, of his entire adult life, and it's really interesting, but nobody knows about it. So. Uh, so it doesn't really count. Whereas, what other example have we got here? Uh, well, the famous example that I always come up with is uh, Theodore Roosevelt, who, when he left office, when he when he left the presidency, he went trekking through the wilderness, and he wrote. He was commissioned to write a series of articles about the that voy that trip in the Brazilian wilderness. Uh, that those articles were melded together into a book, and he, Roosevelt was a fantastic writer. We would remember him as a writer if he were, even if he hadn't been president. And Candace Millard came away along a hundred years later and wanted to chronicle that story, that same story. Well, you've you've got all sorts of primary research to do, but you've also got to deal with the the the, the other book on the subject by your subject. Are you going to be able to write a book that is better than the book your subject wrote? Uh, and this book fails on both those metrics. It is another largely lifeless collection of facts and data, and it certainly doesn't have anything like the absolutely scornfully intelligent magnificence of present at the creation. Uh, so <laughs> I, 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 I had largely blah reactions to this when it first came out, I thought, I'll give it another try. You never know. I'm in a mood for biographies, and there could be subtleties going on here that I'm missing. If there are, I'm well and truly missing them, because the second time through was my last time through. And I thought this was just pro forma. It just it goes through the subject matter, A, and then B, and then C, and then D. And maybe there's an element of that kind of approach that would have appealed to Atchison, but not... Not the the fairly drab presentation that that he would not have liked. Uh, that was absent even from little memos that he wrote in his own lifetime. Uh, so, uh, and not that not that you need to please please the subject when you write a biography, but it didn't please me either. 
so I, I plotted my way through it. I, I kept telling myself, you know, don't look at the back of the book. Don't look at the bibliography or the notes or the, anything like that. Wait until you get there because that'll have some interest in it. Those will have, that'll have nuggets of interest. Uh, and then I got there and I was done with the thing and I was starting to think that people April is cursed. And we have one more night before we determine that that is true. So I'm going to spin the wheel. It's going to be totally random. I'm not going to pick something I don't like, but I'm also not going to pick something I do like. I'm going to pick something, at the very most, I'm going to pick something like this, where I was just blah about it one way or another. So it could go either way. I want the reading tonight to go to be able to go either way. If I read Bob Astry's book on Frederick the Great, I'm going to love it. I've read it a bunch of times. I know I'm going to love it. If I read Evan Connell's book on George Custer, I'm going to love it. I want to pick something that can go either way. Uh, so I'm going to do that. And if tonight is a blah dud, well, then people April is cursed, which, as I said yesterday, I think we can all agree would make it the coolest booktube event of them all. Uh, because how many others are cursed? That's awesome. <laughs> That's absolutely awesome. You take your life in your hands to deal with this. And I'm by no if I determine that people April is cursed, I'm by no means going to stop. <laughs> I'm still going to continue reading a new biography every night and talking to you about it. It's just we'll know then. We'll know that this is my equivalent of breaking a bone or something like that. Uh, so your book for people April this time around, Dean Epson, nah, you're much better served by reading his own book. Uh, so that's that's my report for today. We'll be back tomorrow. I will spin the wheel at random tonight, and we'll see what we get tomorrow. There have been some bright spots in People April. We, all I need is one. All I need is one bright spot to stave off the mantle of this being a cursed event. So we'll see what tonight brings. Uh, and I'll see you tomorrow. We'll find out with bated breath. <laughs> Thank you, Booktube.